Whoa, yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another brand new video, right? So I know I've been gone for a bit now, about two months, but we're back here with a new video ready for you guys, the scooter riders that uh, still don't know what to do or for those people just starting scootering. This video is to give you a few little tips, tricks, and just a bit of advice. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. <laughs> Right, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Right, so first thing you need becoming a scooter ride in a scooter. Doesn't matter if it's park or street. I have two setups currently. I have this setup, which is my park setup, and then I have this setup, which is my street setup. So, first of all, find the scooter perfect for you. This might take some time. You might buy a scooter, you might not like it. You might then move on to something else. That's the good thing about a scooter. You can customize parts, you can add things, you can buy completes, you can buy parts completely separate. My scooters are basically all bought separately. So my street setup is slightly taller, uh, slightly wider bars, same with the deck, wider. It's a box end deck. If you don't know what that means, that means it's, well, self explanatory box in here for better for grinds lockings and stuff like that and it's a little bit stronger for out on the street hitting rails stair sets and stuff like that whereas my park setup actually has like tie bars for example lighter bars easy to throw around and a smaller deck which is not box end also this has a brake whereas my other one has a fender a fender basically just stops your foot from hitting the wheel um instead of a brake being there so my second advice after you've picked your scooter out make sure you've got some pads i normally wear knee pads all the time uh the, the knee pads that i ride are core pads mine are a size medium currently i have some battle damage there but yeah these are easy you slide them on and then do the straps and then nice and sturdy on your feet as long with knee pads you need a helmet I'm currently riding an S1 Scoot 2 Street helmet. So, and obviously mine's got some stickers on there because I customised it myself. Uh, make sure the padding fits your head. Uh, most helmets do come with different size padding. But yeah, and always keep it strapped so there's at least two fingers space underneath your helmet. My helmet's actually quite loose. Uh, probably should be a bit tighter than this. But yeah, make sure you've got a helmet and knee pads. And then make sure you're riding in comfortable clothes. Obviously, I ride in normally an Arctic t-shirt and an Arctic hoodie. Arctic Skatewear are my sponsor. So you guys, if you go on to get any of these or any of their, their products, you can use my code JOSH10 for 10% off their website. Their hoodies and t-shirts are really comfy, really warm, and yeah pretty amazing so here's my top that says team rider on the back if you mess if you order uh, anything and message them your order number you can have your instagram put on the back as well and then i've got a little detail added which mine says demon rider on the sleeve which is obviously i go by so yeah you can pick up a hoodie or a t-shirt from artic skatewear they also do bags which obviously i got my artic bag that i take everywhere to me skate park is number one and then if you're a street rider you'll need some wax i recommend real moon wax if you message real moon they can sort you out some wax it's on screen now and yeah pretty good slippy stuff got different ones as well it's now turning into a slight promotion but yeah if you're a street rider or park rider i, ge I generally recommend having some wax on you because if you're learning grinds or anything like that and you want to slide nicely you don't want that sticky horrible feeling so yeah tip number three or four now is get yourself like a gopro or maybe even a tripod so i actually have a gopro hero 7 uh, i have a tripod for it and a chest mount this is so i can get a little pov 
um, or if so, there's not someone there to film me, I can get self film clips all the time. And also, filming progression. I recommend filming your progression, posting it on Instagram or TikTok, or even YouTube like I have been. Um, so then it's not just for other people, it's mainly for you. You can see your progression, then you can show people that you are progressing. And everyone loves when you're doing something good. So yeah, if you guys want to tag me in any of your progression edits or any clips, tag my Instagram, it's at YT Just Carter. Or tag me on TikTok. My, my TikTok is at YT Just Carter as well. So yeah, tip number five now is ride with people. I suggest riding with people, not just your level, maybe someone who's a little bit better than you. Challenge yourself. Go ride with better ride, better riders than yourself. Like I like I like riding with beginners. I ride with pros. I ride with people my level. You know. A mixture because even a beginner could teach you a trick. There's be people out there that have like say they're below my level, but then have beaten me in a game of scoot or something like that. So yeah, that is another one. Have games of scoot, have games of call the shots. It helps progress and push you as a rider and the people around you. Um, you can always go back and forth. My mate was really good at kicklesses. I was really good at finger whips. Now we're both decent at both because we pushed each other in games of scoot. Um. So, yeah, tip number seven is travel. Make sure you go into indoor skate park, outdoor skate park, street spots, pushing yourself on different ramps, different size boxes, um, different stair sets, rails, different things. Each skate park has a new opportunity to be explored, and it just varies your skill level and helps you progress overall as a rider. Um, my suggest is... Don't be a street rider and don't be a park rider. Be a hybrid rider. Ride anything. Get good at everything that you can. Don't miss out on opportunities. Because I know a lot of park riders that can't do grinds. If I set a feeble grind, they can't do that. They're struggling. And then if I have a game of scoot with a street rider and I do an overhead, they can't do it because that's not in their, like, their category. Make sure you are just pushing yourself in every way that you can. Find new ways of doing tricks. Uh, create your own style and find what's comfortable for you. But then once you've found that comfortable area, push it and break it and build yourself up each time. So, yeah, there's a little tips and little guide for you guys that are just starting to uh, ride scooters. Also, watch how-to videos on YouTube, on TikTok, I believe, and there's a few on Instagram now. I've got a load of how-to videos, and I've also got a progression edit out there as well which i will link the progression edit down below so you guys can see what it is like to progress over these years i've been riding for nearly six years now and i've still got a long way to go before i'm at the level that i want to be but yeah set yourself goals go smash them land your dream tricks and have fun have fun that is the main one have fun and enjoy riding so if you're not enjoying what you're doing then what's the point in doing it go enjoy it have fun make new friends and progress but yeah all love to any other sport out there uh this is video is just for scoot isn't just for scooter riders it could relate to anyone um it's just being scooter oriented because that's what i ride so yeah thank you guys for watching this video please do like subscribe comment any other video ideas you guys have and i'll see you guys in the next video peace